Item number SCP-1926 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures Instances of SCP-1926 are to be contained in a well-lit, whitewashed containment chamber measuring 10 meters by 10 meters by 3 meters. This allows 4 meters squared for each family. The chamber is to be supplied with 65 sets of colorful plastic blocks. Description. SCP-1926 is a group of 65 animate children's plush toys. SCP-1926-1 is the collective designation for 64 of the instances of SCP-1926. Instances of SCP-1926-1 are bipedal, lack arms and standpoint 7 meters tall. The instance's legs appear to be made from children's-sized black and white striped leggings. Instances have large brown eyes and ears similar to those of rabbits, but lack mouths and noses. As of this writing, there are 43 adult instances and 21 juvenile instances of SCP-1926-1 in containment. Juvenile instances are half the size of, and do not mature into adult instances. Individual instances have some physical variation. The clothing of SCP-1926-1 instances consists of a black sweater with a single white button sewn onto the front. Touching this button causes the instance to produce a giggling sound. The process by which this occurs is not known. Adult instances reproduce by pressing their buttons together. After this, a juvenile instance will slowly butt off from the front of one of the adult instances, growing as it emerges. This has occurred five times since SCP-1926-1 were contained. There is one adult instance, SCP-1926-1-43, who is not paired with another adult instance. SCP-1926-1-43 has assumed the role of alerting SCP-1926 to the presence of humans in the containment chamber. Instances of SCP-1926-1 operate in family structures of two adult instances and one juvenile instance each. The behavior of each family seems to resemble that of human children playing house. Instances of SCP-1926-1 use their legs as arms to pick objects up, make human-like gestures, and interact with one another. Instances of SCP-1926-1 enjoy engaging in group recreational activities using children's toys. In the absence of these, they tend to fight with one another. SCP-1926-2 is a juvenile instance of SCP-1926 that is 0.2 meters tall. SCP-1926-2 lacks several features typical of SCP-1926-1 instances. While SCP-1926-2 has shown itself capable of utilizing its much shorter legs to walk, it is not capable of using them to manipulate objects or successfully interact with other instances. SCP-1926-2 is avoided by all instances of SCP-1926-1. SCP-1926-2 tends to focus its attention and interaction attempts on SCP-1926-1-43. When interaction is attempted by SCP-1926-2, instances of SCP-1926-1 respond with physical aggression. It is common for SCP-1926-2 to be kicked and thrown. Despite this, SCP-1926-2 continues to attempt interaction. Instances of SCP-1926 shiver, make whimpering sounds, and are apt to group closely together when in the dark. This is the only time at which the presence of SCP-1926-2 within the group is tolerated by the SCP-1926-1 instances. Addendum. The following text is sewn into a tag attached to each instance of SCP-1926-1. Meet the Moots. The Moots are magical creatures from a place that is so far away, it's right next to your dreams. They don't have mouths, so they can't speak. They don't have arms, so they can't hug. But they are full of more love than any creature you've ever known. They exist to watch over us, with their big, knowing eyes. They are protectors of everything we hold dear. We are what they hold dear. The following text is sewn into a tag attached to SCP-1926-2. Meet Flopsy. Flopsy failed to protect everything we hold dear. Flopsy failed to protect us.